Today on Dub World, I am taking you for the first highway drive in the 1996 Volkswagen Polo Harlequin. Are you ready? Let's go. Wow, so I just got back from taking you guys on the first highway ride of this vehicle since I got her. And let me say, this car is a lot of fun. I was surprised at how much fun it is to drive. It's just a really cool little car. It moves out pretty quickly. It handles nice. It's just a joy to drive. And honestly, I didn't think that I would enjoy driving it as much as I do. So here's the tiny but really deep trunk. And if you're wondering just what that is, no, it's not some fancy nitrous tank. This is actually a dual fuel vehicle. And this is a liquid propane tank. The charge port is right there to fill that tank. Let's see here. I'm gonna guess this was installed in Bulgaria, which is where the car was from originally. It runs on both gasoline and liquid propane. These right here are the liquid propane injectors. Um, it's got a switch inside the car, which allows you to switch from liquid propane to gasoline. I'm going to take you guys along the way as I slowly work on this and try to get her into top notch shape, but just a fun vehicle. So let's take a look at the interior. So the interior features this charcoal gray upholstery with the same multicolor as the exterior. Now these cars originally came with a blue leather steering wheel. This car unfortunately did not have that wheel in it when I got it. And the first thing I did was swap out the steering wheel with this black leather with blue stitching. Eventually, I am going to put a blue wheel in it just to keep it more original. But this one's nice for now. They feature silver face gauges. Also a unique shift knob with the Harlequin on there, as you can see. Five speed. This car has power front windows, roll up rear windows, which is kind of interesting. As you can see here. They did actually come with original blue trim floor mats. I only have the fronts, I mean, 
only have the rears. I need the fronts. And there's some bits and pieces that I'll need for the car. But if you're wondering about the size of the Polo, it's actually smaller than an air-cooled Beetle. And this car features a 1600cc engine, which is the largest that the Polo of this year had. And that's all for today's video. I'm going to leave you with a factory picture showing you how they assembled the Harlequins. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Dub World.